XJ Developer TV, what is going on? My name is Kevin, AKA The Booyah! Tech Ninja. If you've been viewing this channel for the last couple months or so, you'll see that most of my videos are about automation. Well, today I'm gonna automate one more thing. I'm automating the backups to your phone. That's right, we're gonna make a schedule so your phone automatically backs up and deletes the previous one, right now. <laughs> This episode of XDA Developer TV is brought to you by Sony Mobile and the new Sony Xperia Tablet Z, now on sale at store.sony.com slash tablet. Be sure to check out Sony Mobile's YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Sony Xperia Dev. Developer World. Oh, backup is the application that I'm going to use to back up my device automatically. The top left of the application, there's an icon. Once you press it, it slides over the settings. Within the screen, you have several options. We are only going to focus on backup, your device, logger, and settings. Within settings, we have tons of options in here as well. We are going to configure just a few things to get the program to work for us. We are able to schedule a date and time for backups. Backup retention policy allows us to decide how many backups our device will keep. Also, make sure the box is checked that only deletes an old backup after the backup has completed successfully. Under the backup type, we need to be sure to select which recovery we have installed. I am using TWRP, so I will select it. Also going to pick compression. It takes a little bit longer to back up, but it takes less space on your SD card. So the backup location, what works for me is selecting manual and I point it to where my recovery is actually installed. This part may take some trial and error, but once you find the location, press valid. At this point, we are all set up. I'm just gonna show you there are additional options under advanced. We can append the ROM name in front of the backup. We can add a predefined tag as well. There's a setting to keep the screen on, vibrate when finished, also the MD5 verification check. One more cool thing we can do, we can head into logging, then we can see what the device has been doing in the background this whole time, which makes it really easy to troubleshoot. Head back to the main screen, then press on the magic wand in the top right corner. Your first time doing this, you may need to install additional files. Once this is done, the backup will begin. Once the backup is done, it is now sitting on the main screen of your application. Once you click on the backup, you're now able to delete or restore from this point. All right, folks, that was it. That is how to automatically set your phone up to backup and delete the previous backup. It's really handy to have, and let me tell you the truth, it saved my ninja butt a couple times. All right, guys, if you have any questions, please let me know. Oh, wait, if you didn't subscribe to this channel, go ahead and subscribe to this channel so you can check out other great people and other developers and also really cool applications and tips and tricks and all that fun stuff. And also make your way to the XDA DEF CON if you can down in Miami, August 9th through the 11th. All right, guys, if you have any questions, please let me know. My name is Kevin, AKA The Tech Ninja, and I'm checking out, peace. Go Tigers!